Well, good morning. I guess it is morning. And as you can see, I am here. Um, says I can add three guests. Well, it's just me and you today, Sarah Just Lynn. us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so Sarah Lynn has stopped by my house on her way back from having her DEXA scan uh, for her bone density, right. which is something we right. all need to do, especially us women over, I would say, over 45, especially if you have not been taking vitamin D supplements, D3 and K2. So that's a, that's a post for another day. But um, Sarah Lynn is one of my favorite students. They're all my favorite. <laughs> I used to tell people I had four brothers. They said, which one's your favorite? I'm like, whichever one I'm talking to. That's, that's, that's right. my favorite. That's yeah. right. But anyway, Sarah Lynn has just got an amazing story. Uh, she was just telling me about going and weighing at the doctor's office and just she hadn't been in that range, and I'm going to let her tell it, in so long. And, yes, it is about weight loss. Yeah. But when you got out of your car and started walking up my steps, I just thought, this is a different woman <laughs> than I met last October. I mean, yes. you would have not even driven over here to Vidalia. From not Hazard. by myself. By yourself. No. no. I didn't do anything really by myself. Um, I think the biggest thing I've gained, and I realized this this week, I've gotten my independence back. Um, I, was, I had gotten to the point before I did the challenge that my husband went to the grocery store. I would go with him sometimes. Most of the time, I would just sit in the car because he could get around and there faster. I, I was, I was approaching just staying at home all the time and not, not doing anything and, you know, worrying if I wanted to go to see one of my grandchildren compete in something, worrying if I could get up the steps. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm not worried about that anymore. Um, yeah, tell me all, what you've done even in the last few months as far as going to things and doing things that you would not have done. Well, my husband and I, the biggest thing is this. We went to the mountains. That's our favorite yeah. place to go. Uh, we'll be celebrating our 42nd anniversary at the end of August. But uh, we went ahead and went in July because we were ready to go ahead and start celebrating. <laughs> well, I didn't mention to David that I thought we might could do some, you know, hiking or whatever. So... Um, Long story short, we stopped at a visitor center and we went on a walk and I said, hey, let's go walk this river trail. And we did and I was so excited I posted about it and then um, I picked up a brochure and it had waterfalls you could walk to. So I, I looked at it and I told David, I said, we, we're going to do these that say they're easy. And he just looked at me. I said, well, yeah, I think we can do it. So that's what we did when we were in the mountains. We were out looking for things we could do walking wise instead of seeing which place we could go eat at. <laughs> I, <love laughs> so, I mean, it was a completely And you spent a lot less one. money. Spent a lot less on money. On food especially. Mm -hmm. yeah. We did, we did. And now, we had the best time. So would you have gone to the mountains a year ago? We would have gone, but, but what would it have looked like? But we would have gone, and we would have. Uh, we like to go to a couple of the variety shows, so we mm -hmm. might have gone. To, we would have done that. Mm -hmm. uh, but what would have happened is David would have pulled up to the front door and let me out, and then he would have gone and parked. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have been able to walk up the hill from the bottom of the parking lot. Mm -hmm. Um, when we went out to the island, we would always park and catch a um, tram in. Mm -hmm. Y'all, Sunday night, we said, we can just walk back out to our car. We don't need that tram. We hadn't walked today. Mm -hmm. um, we went to uh, eat at Margaritaville, and I had a cheeseburger in paradise with a side salad and no mm -hmm. bun. Mm -hmm. It was yummy. Yeah, but you didn't feel deprived. I didn't feel deprived because hey, I'd been walking up Nail Mountains. I was happy. Right. <laughs> there you go. Awesome. Yeah. So let's talk about you and I spent a little time when you first got here because you're wearing a continuous glucose monitor. It's a little mm -hmm. thing that sits on the back of your arm. Mine is. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, right there. Yep. 
and it might measures your <coughs> blood sugar, the amount mm -hmm. of sugar in your blood, and it continually reports that onto your phone. It does. So if you are diabetic or pre-diabetic, you want one of these. And I'm going to tell you why, because we were just talking about her David getting one, and maybe if he watches <laughs> <laughs> getting one, because when I did it, 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 it really stunned me and educated me as to why I don't want to grab a sandwich just with just regular bread for lunch. My blood sugar, and I don't, I'm not diabetic. I'm normal weight. Uh, went up, went way up. It came back down, but it went way up. And while that blood sugar's up, what you don't realize is what is happening is that sugar in your blood is affecting your capillaries in your eyes, in your liver, in your kidneys, in your distal extremities, your nerves, all of that stuff. So people that are diabetic that are telling you, oh, just get on a pump or just take more insulin, that is wrong. That should be, especially if it's your doctor, that should be malpractice because what, I mean, it's almost like, I don't even know how to compare it to, but it's, what would you compare it to? Just saying, it's, well, it's almost like you're behind the eight ball because right. you're you're already damaging yourself and then you're trying to reverse it when it's already done. Yes, you'll get your blood sugar down. Insulin will bring your blood sugar down, but the damage is already there. And so what you want to do is stay ahead of it. Right. You want to be in front of the eight <clears throat> ball so you can knock it in the pocket. And that's what Sarah Lynn has done. So when we talked about what her sugars were in the morning when she before she joined my program and they were like 150 150 yeah and higher sometimes but the thing that I would say now I my monitor is a Dexcom it doesn't have a uh, insulin or anything really in it it's just monitoring my levels yeah and I think the biggest thing that it as well as this um, Dr. Nancy's challenge has done is I just really feel empowered to take control of my health. Yeah, because you're I, educated. Right. You're you've, you're knowledgeable. Right. About what? I mean, before I'm sure you knew. And I think I interrupted you, but that's okay. Um, I think before you knew that eating those crackers. I mean, you knew there were things that raised your blood sugar up, especially sweets. You know, tea mm -hmm. or you know, bread or any of those things. But now you know it for sure. You do. There's no doubt about it. And, uh, and you know, and that lets me know, um, we, if my blood sugar goes over a certain amount, and mine is at the high level is considered 200, if it even starts getting over 150, it sends me a message. Mm -hmm. um, but it starts alarming if you um, get to 200. Mm -hmm. And, you know, before I was just checking my fasting blood sugar in the morning and um, I had no idea what it was running the rest of the day. And so if, if you're just checking that morning fasting blood glucose level, you're not getting the whole picture mm -hmm. of what's happening mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. So um, it'll tell on you if you cheat. Mm -hmm. um, when we were on vacation, I, we went to eat breakfast and everybody else had a waffle and syrup. And I had not had a waffle since October, but I had one that morning, but I paid for it all day. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. finally, <laughs> my in-laws, everybody paid for it because my phone would go off every time, every five minutes I was getting an alarm mm -hmm. until it finally went back down. Mm -hmm. So yeah. um, I've learned a lot since I had this. And um, one thing is, you know, I've always known about the importance of drinking water, but I'd never really known how much that increases your blood sugar levels. Mm -hmm. And being so dehydrated, if you're dehydrated, yeah. you're going to get higher levels. Right. So um, my goal, my new goal for from this week is really trying to get all of my water in every day. Mm -hmm. And um, so that's. So what are you doing? Like. 80 ounce, 65, 64 ounces or I'm gallon. trying to do 100, ga okay. 100 gallons a day. 100 <laughs> ounces a day. Yeah. yeah. 
and um, okay. I'm That's doing good. a lot better with that. Yeah. Um, and my nephrologist believes that, you know, of course, he wants me to drink 100 ounces a day. Mm -hmm. So okay. so that's what we're working on. Yeah, that's good. And I'm up in my water, too, for chronic constipation. So water <laughs> is important. Think about it. It's the most abundant resource mm -hmm. on the planet, and it's free. And people are always trying to drink something besides water. And I just want to encourage you, get you a water bottle, fill it up, put some ice in it, fill it up, especially in this heat, and just say, okay, by the end of the day, I'm going to fill this up four times or or whatever it is. So uh, let's talk about something else you found out. And now this isn't prompted, so okay. she's going to know that you found out raised your blood sugar. Okay, I found out my grandson is very active in uh, baseball. And I found out that if Granny gets stressed at the ball game, regardless <laughs> of what she has or has not had to eat or drink, her blood sugar will go up. Okay. So uh, one time I, I told uh, Nancy, I said, I haven't eaten anything I wasn't supposed to eat, but my blood sugar is going crazy. And she said, it's just a ball game. <laughs> and so I just want to tell myself every day when we get to a ball game, or every time we get to a ball game, it's just a ball game. And yeah. so I've been doing better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And there's one other thing. And I think, heat. And heat. heat. Heat will make it go up. Yeah, being in the heat and humidity. Yeah. So um, that happened at the district swim meet. He also swims. And um, I had not had a thing to eat, and I'd only had water to drink, and my blood sugar just kept going up and up and up, and I'm like, okay, what's going on? And I think I actually texted Nancy and said, I don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. And um, we finally figured out, and then I did some research, and mm -hmm. it was the heat, and I was probably stressed because of the heat, mm -hmm. but... Um, you know, when I started Dr. Nancy's program, I, I know I've already said this. Our grandchildren, we have Addie, who is a competition cheerleader. Uh, Jeremiah, who does um, competition swimming, and also he plays baseball. And then David and Grace, they're little, and they're just getting started, but they're just five and three. So anyway, I a lot of times with my precious grandchildren I was just sitting and watching and now I'm just having the time of my life the best years of my life right now yeah. because I I'm not worried about if I can walk from the parking lot to the baseball field or to the swimming pool or if I can um, take my little children my babies to the beach or to the playground or even just get in the pool with them. I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. I'm off the back porch and in the swimming pool. There you go. That is so awesome. So, yeah. I'm, I just... And, and you're retired now, and most people that have a lot of disease and issues, once they retire, it just gets worse because they're not as active and all that. So, right. really, this is... i tell you who this is for. This is for you if you you're, have Sarah story that you, uh, she'll tell you, she was eating at night, secretly eating. Oh, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. feeding her emotions, you know, just just sneaking food, you know, like I was doing, having peanut butter and stuff for my grandchildren when they weren't even here. They weren't coming or they oh, weren't whatever, oh. you know. And yeah. my husband was, um, we kept snacks for him to take, or, yeah, for him to take when he went to pick the kids up from daycare, I mean, mm -hmm. from uh, preschool, well, he would be asleep, and I would decide I wanted a chocolate bar, so I would just go in there and eat me two or three of those little Hershey Kisses yeah. snark, chocolate yeah. bars. Yeah. And um, he would say, what is happening to that candy? And I would just, I wouldn't say a word, but he knew what was happening. Right, yeah. And yeah. so did I. But Actually, it was killing <laughs> Sarah Lynn is what it was doing. It was it taking was. her life, and that's what's happening with you, and I don't want that to happen. I want you to have a good end of life experience. You deserved it. You've lived this long. You've you've lived life and life is hard. Things happen and but you don't want to spend your time at the doctor's office or 
at the drugstore picking up your medicines and spend your money there. You want to spend your time maybe going to the mountains or right. going to the beach or, or doing something. Going shopping. Yeah, going shopping. Yeah, Sarah Lynn's bought some new clothes. I, I love have. this. I love this top I you got on. Yeah. And so you, you're going to shop from the back of your closet. That's fun. It is fun. And I'll, <laughs> I will tell you, too, and David shared this with Nancy, and I'm going to try to tell it. Um, when we were in the mountains, we were sitting out on the um, balcony during a rainstorm. And he, he just looked at me and he said, you're just amazing me. And first, at the, the beginning of that, it, he was talking about wanting to go hiking. But then he said, you know, it wasn't so long ago that I was worried that we were getting to the point that I was going to have to help you to get around and that you weren't gonna be able to be independent. He said, and I don't worry about that anymore. Wow. And I, I mean, that 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 is it's, a big enough why for anybody who still yeah, has reservations. Yeah. You wanna you wanna be independent. You don't you don't want somebody else taking care of you. No. No, you want to take care of yourself as long as you can. Right. Because Sarah Lynn's like me. She loves to help people. She loves to cook for people. <laughs> she loves to sew for people. Yes. She loves to encourage people. But you can't do that if you can't even take care of yourself. You know, that saying, you cannot pour from an empty cup. Right. You cannot. Right. And so that's what Sarah Lynn's doing. So I'm just putting it out there to you. Message me. Let's get on the phone and talk. I've got a new challenge starting. I'll, I've got a place for you. But... Um, you know, I probably what Sarah Lynn would tell you and, and really all of my clients is you wish you'd have started this earlier. Three mm -hmm. years ago or four years ago or <coughs> yes. how what however long, but you didn't. Right. And so, you know, they say the best time to plant an oak tree was thirty years ago. But really the best time to start getting healthy is today. Mm -hmm. So don't wait any longer. If you're one of my clients, if you'd share this video, because there are definitely people in your feed that when they see it, they'll, they'll, you know, they'll, they'll listen. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, message me and let's talk and I'd love to hear from you. So Sarah Lynn, anything else you think we need to talk about that well, we haven't talked about? Well, I, we're meeting at Mana tonight oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. that will be fun. Yeah. And and, and you can come, even if yeah. you're not in my challenge, just for anybody. Really, we're going to do a little educational thing at the beginning, let some of the different ones talk about their experience. But really, and I, I interrupted you again, okay. but really what it's about is you getting to know, like, and trust me, you know, mm -hmm. because for you to join me on a challenge. But I want you to know these ladies are participating too. We've got a Marco Polo app where they jump on and share things every day, their struggles, their celebrations, all those things. So um, you'll be benefited if you come. So, yes. don't, so don't miss it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Anybody can come. Anybody's welcome. At 545 at Man. You don't have to eat. I mean, we will be eating. We will be eating. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I went there the other night and had their red snapper and uh, zucchini. It was so, mm. it's, it's just good food. It's really good food. And yep. good people. And good people. Oh yeah, they're so they're so nice. So um, come out and join us. Yeah. So yeah. thank you for reminding me of that, Sarah Lynn. And um, we're gonna get David on here too because David has a story of his own. He does. Yeah, he really does. And, and and David's biggest story right now, I think Miss Nancy knows this, is uh, they asked him if he would come back to teach full time. And so now, because he doesn't have to worry about me. <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't even think about it. Yeah. Me. He, he wow. didn't have to worry about if I'm going to be okay all day home, all day at home. I think now the thing he's worried about is how much shopping I might do while he's working. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> he he's actually going to be working, teaching full time. And he is excited about that. And um, we're just excited about life. I, I, I know this is going to go a little long, but I want you to share the story you just shared with me. You don't have to say a name because I don't think you know her first name. What happened to you last night? Just uh, just a real, real quick okay. summary because I think this is the thing that people don't know. They're diabetic and they just don't know what to eat. And so what you learn in my program is exactly what to do. Mm -hmm. You don't ever wonder again, what mm -hmm. should I be eating? 
And you're, if you do, gonna... we just text you and ask you. That's right. <laughs> and then sometimes I'll tell you to Google it and find out for yeah. yourself because right. I want you to learn. You know, I don't want you to be attached to me for the rest of your life. Right. But but you'll know. And it's not hard. Mm -hmm. It's not complicated. No. It's hard it's... because it's new, but it's not complicated. So just, just briefly tell that whole okay. story. So last night I ran to the Dollar Tree. And, and she may be watching, but no, she, yeah. nobody knows who she is. Right, and, that, and that's This fine. could have been a th thousand people in Hazelhurst. And I was just, <clears throat> I went to the Dollar Tree, and um, my husband had asked me as I was leaving to get him some pork skins. So I said, okay. I thought, I better go get those first so I won't forget. So I did. And this lady that I didn't know at all, she just looked at me and she said, would you happen to be diabetic? And I thought, whoa, do I look bad or something? But anyway, <laughs> um, I said, yes, ma'am, I am actually. And she was telling me that her husband is diabetic and she was trying to get him something to drink. And she, she said, do you think this will be okay? And she handed it to me and I told her, I said, no, ma'am, this would not be good at all. I said, uh, and I showed her the label and the carbohydrates and everything. And um, we had a conversation, and um, she's going to send me a, a friend's request on Facebook. But I pointed her to Dr. Nancy. I said, you need to follow this lady. You can follow her on YouTube. You can follow her on Facebook. And I also went ahead and invited her to the meeting. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I think the point I wanted to point out in that is... She had no clue. She yeah. had no clue how to no. read a label. She had no clue that that 25 grams of carbs in one serving, there were three servings in the bottle. And what Sarah Lynn told her, she's like, now my husband would have just turned this whole bottle up and drank it. It was what, a juice, some kind of it juice? It was some kind of juice. And yeah. I had yeah. 25 carbs for every eight ounces. Yeah. And I just told her, I said, now my husband yeah. would just, he wouldn't even look at it. He would just drink the whole thing. But I think the confidence that I have in knowing what to do is why I was able to have that conversation with someone I never met before. Right. And um, and I told I told Nancy I said I got to tell you this it was just a God thing. Right. Yeah. And God will make a way for you. Yes. He, he will. Just like you and I can name eight hundred other people mm -hmm. that He brought them to my program. But it was real. It was to help them. And He's always doing that. He's right. He's Every day he's giving you his mercy, and uh, it, it's up to us to choose it. There is a way. So I want to thank you for joining us and share this video. Just hit the share button and send it out because somebody out there, You're right. it's a life or death thing for somebody. And um, I heard the other day by 2024, one out of two people will be diabetic, and mm -hmm. we do not want that no, to happen. We don't. Medic insulin is a killer drug. It really is. Um, it 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 causes high blood pressure. Eighty percent of diabetics are on high blood pressure medicine. You've come off your high blood pressure medicine. We have cut it. Yeah, we have cut yeah. it. Yeah, I have come off all but one of my diabetic medicines. Yeah, that's amazing. And cut your pharmacy bill. Yes. Way down. <laughs> yeah. And just the aggravation of having I'm to take going. medicines. And all, I was listening to a cancer curing video last night, and all medicines have some kind of side effect. Mm -hmm. You know, they do. They have chemicals in them. They have all kinds of things. So we want to be, we want to get our food to be our medicine. Right. Food is medicine. Whether it, you know, or it's poison. It's mm -hmm. either medicine Good medicine or it's poison, right? That's right. And that's what you learn. You learn food freedom. Well, thank you, Sarah Lynn, and thank you all for joining and share the video. Thanks.